In a classic friction problem, we have a 20 kilogram block on a rough wooden surface attached by string to a 10 kilogram block hanging over a pulley. We'd like to find the system acceleration. We use F net equals a, MA, but we use acceleration for the whole system, which is the string attached to the two blocks. Our frame will be clockwise is positive, because if it moves at all, it'll move clockwise. Our force diagram shows the 100 newton force pulling down on the 10 kilogram mass. Our friction force opposing motion as it always does. The 200 newton weight of the 20 kilogram block and the corresponding normal force, in this case also 200 newtons. We always get F net from the diagram, so in this case we have the 100 newton force going with our frame. We subtract the friction force going against our frame. That equals the system mass of 20 plus 10 times the acceleration of the system. Let's find the friction force using the equation normal force times the coefficient of friction. In this case, 200 newtons times 0 0.30 or a friction force of 60 newtons. Subtracting the 60 from the 100 gives us our net force of 40. That equals the system mass of 30 kilograms times our acceleration. This gives us an acceleration, a system acceleration, of 1.33 kilograms, or excuse me, meters per second squared clockwise. We'd also like to find the tension in the string, so let's isolate on either block, in this case the 10 kilogram block. When we isolate, we see that there is a tension above the 10 kilogram block and another tension. These are an internal force pair. The other tension is opposing it, pulling on the 20 kilogram block. When we isolate and have our new force diagram, we have just two forces, the tension pulling up the 100 newton force pulling down. If our acceleration is down as positive, we're going to do F net equals MA, but we're just going to isolate just on the 10 kilogram mass. Getting F net from the diagram, we have 100 minus the tension is equal to our mass of 10 kilograms times the acceleration. But if the system's accelerating at 1.33, every part of the system is. Doing the algebra, we see tension is 86.7 newtons. This makes sense. I'll draw it, the tension is to look a little bit less in length than the 100 to imply that in fact we do have a net force, that's why the system is going downward.